flying humanoids have been appearing more and more frequently in recent years. They have a long history from the stories of flying angels and demons of biblical times to the more recent sightings like that of Mothman and the flying humanoid sightings over Chicago which swept the internet a few months back. What could these be? Do these aeronautical mysteries exist? What phenomena would best explain them? Are they creatures of the paranormal world or maybe aliens from another planet or even people using some kind of cutting edge personal flying device? Let's take a look at the strange occurrences and see if we can find any answers. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. Let's begin with the sighting I mentioned in the intro. August 29, 2018 – Sightings of Flying Humanoids in Chicago Mostly they have been observed hovering in the air. The breaking report said it was a normal summer night for John Amentorino, working his Friday shift at security for Chicago's popular hangout The Owl, but when he went outside he saw something very odd in the skies. This was followed by another report from a witness at Sears Tower. They reported how two mysterious figures were seen leaping from building to building and rather than plummeting to their death they began carrying out spectacular aerial maneuvers, flying in figure of eights in what seemed to be some kind of aerial ballet. These humanoids were then spotted again by a police officer who said he had seen a tall thin figure jump off an apartment building in Auburn Grisham and fly away. This recent rash of sightings has been reported by many, with many of these reports coming from areas around Lake Michigan, the lake being a hotbed for a good amount of weird occurrences. These events ranging from unidentified flying objects to levitating orbs. So what could these flying question marks be? Unknown birds or something a little bit mythical? Three variants of flying humanoids have been described. Maybe this could provide us with some clues. The first sightings give the description of a tall feathered being with wings and glowing red eyes. This is very similar to the appearance of the legendary cryptid Mothman. Could this popular monster be making a comeback in the Windy City? The second type being La Lechuzas. Mexican witches with the ability to shapeshift into owls or eagles. These witches being part of the large Latino community in the area. The final type is said to resemble a large black bat with a height of between 6 to 8 feet and having a wingspan of around 12 feet. Ok I think I have the answer. Could it be? <laughs> Joking aside, if it's not the Dark Knight what could explain the sightings? If we eliminate man-made objects such as gliders and drones and it's not a species of unknown large bird, could they be, as some claim, an extra dimensional traveller of some type? These sightings often cause panic among the populations of an area where one of these creatures is said to be flying. This again linking to the Mothman and the bridge collapse which followed his appearance. The entity was said to have been a warning sign to the people of Point Pleasant. But winged humanoids don't always carry such disastrous messages. After all Christianity is packed with them and they are said to be our guardians, the angels. But we can trace winged beings back further. The ancient Mesopotamians had winged gods as did the Egyptians and religions still followed by many today have creatures which are a mix of bird and man. The Garuda are creatures of Buddhist mythology that have their origins in the much older Hindu belief systems. The religion have in its texts which openly talk about alien visitors, extra dimensional beings and a conflict which engulf the planet. But I don't want to stray off topics so back to the Garuda. The bird men and women known as Garuda first appeared in Hindu mythology 
as a singular being, the son of Kashyap, the sage and his second wife, Vinata. Their child had a head with a beak. This child also had wings and eagle-like talons in place of feet, and the arms, legs and torso were that of a human. The child was said to be very strong and fearless, often battling evildoers in the many epic stories of old. The Mahabharata gives us the story of the conflict with Venata. There was a great rivalry with her older sister and co-wife Kudru, Kudru being the mother of the Nagas, a cryptid we have covered on the channel. You can see that video linked above. The Garuda is a very important creature to these two religions. It has been adopted as the national symbol of Thailand and Indonesia. In Asia the Garuda has a strong association with military and many elite special forces units use Garuda in their name and its image on their crests. And talking of military, could there be a technological answer to the recent increase in flying humanoids? We have seen a recent surge in the development of personal flying devices. Air bikes, hexcopters and rotorcraft are all in development and testing for these new flight platforms could lead to the misidentification of these technologies. This explaining maybe a few of the increased reports. And there is also mother nature. Could this be an out of place or yet to be discovered flying creature? Some animals like giant cranes and flying foxes could go some way to offering a cause to these reports, but they do not fit with the geographical locations or the reported size of the sighted figures. What do you think these flying humanoids are? Are they mythical, mechanical or natural? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.